Me, I want to be clear. As a leader in this county, and as an African, and as a God-fearing person, I believe there is a way God ordained us and built us, and he gave us his commands on how we should live and how we should behave. And I cannot ordain anything else that is outside that. So those who are talking about, you know, it was GLGP, I even don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> LGDP, <laughs> I think to me it is clear in my mind I will live according to the rules of my faith and my culture. I will not do anything that does not do that. And I'll teach my children and those people who are around me to fear God, to respect their culture. You know, like somebody <laughs> was telling us that sometimes an African is, I think it was Lumumba, that an African has been told that polygamy is sinful, but this LGBT Q is godly. <laughs> I mean, it's difficult even to mention some of these things. It's difficult. But for me as a leader, I can tell you that we are not going to embrace these kind of things because We must respect our faiths and we must respect our culture. And I've never seen, I'm a scientist also, other than being a politician, I've never seen where to, this one is a, an orientation. <laughs> it's, to me, it's just a vice. And if you have got vices, keep them to yourself as we pray for you. <laughs> but also respect us. That's the best thing that we can do. So that debate, for those who wanted me to say anything, I will not have said, but that is what I can say. Count me out on that one. Now, kiwa na yo shida, tutajaribu kukusaidia uishi maisha ile mungu wa kisa. Sindio? Because we know it's not normal. You know, God, even 